Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back. It's some EU4 with France, and we have a new patron as well uh, from Brummy, which is very kind. $20 patron is now wonderful live on stream, uh, or rather just between episodes. Thank you so much. Those who support me on Patreon really do help fund the furtherance of this channel and more stupid gaming content to come. Yeah. It's 1611, and I want to fight the Ottomans, but it's now time for the Age of Absolutism, which is actually a little annoying, because I would have preferred to be able to use the war score cost reduction from the Age of Reformation, but what can you do? So, the Absolutism mechanics have been enabled. We have at least three trade companies. We, def we have at least 200 regiments. We don't have five permitted cultures, and nor the Emperor, but we also get a decent amount of points. Ah, oh, French Musketeers! This is the time. 20% land fire damage. I do have a claim in Bravement. I have two claims, actually. But the admin efficiency is easily the best, as well as yearly ad, 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 thingamabilism. So we want to be desperately getting as much absolutism as possible. Um, and we're going to have to be pushing stuff off of our, our uh, various clergy and stuff like that, which is a bit annoying because it lowers our absolutism. But we're going to now be reducing absolutism as much as we can. Uh, so decreasing autonomy to increase our lovely absolutism bit by bit by bit. We're literally just going down and clicking everything. I really wish I could just automatically say reduce everything that can be reduced, but here we are. Sadly, not much can be reduced. Why must games be so loud once in the game? Oh my god, right? It's torture. Okay, let's go. Now, I do indeed still have... Oh, the counter of the counter Reformation dispersed. I do indeed still have two, uh, two claims onto Brabant. Uh, if I were to attack them, I would be fighting um, the Austrians, and I would be fighting Isfrizia, Thrizia, and Dormat. I think I would prefer to attack the uh, Ottomans first. The particular rebel tricks still work. What's that trick, Tark? You could do the rebel trick. What's the trick? Talk to me. Um, but I think attacking these guys would be better. Um, I'm not going to call in... I would like to call in the Commonwealth, but they will steal all of my stuff. So instead, we will uh, call in Bohemia. Except the demands to get autonomy everywhere. Oh, that's not a terrible idea. That's pretty good. How many troops do the Auto Bros have? Let's take a look. Do, do, do. So the Ottomans do have 193,000 men. So maybe we should actually accept the Commonwealth's help. Yeah, let's do that. We'll accept the Commonwealth's help. Oh, they're coming with Cossacks. Uh, no. Oh, no, it's okay. They still got it. Yeah. Okay. So, what? Just let particular rebels take over? Like that? Oh, Christ. Accept the demands to get autonomy everywhere. Oh, okay. Why the hell wouldn't I do this? I haven't done this in so long. I mean, yeah, that's a... Pretty decent thing. But yeah, right? That's going to be a crazy way to get it. Accept demands and then increase autonomy. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Boop. Oh. Nice. That helps. And then I can just reduce it. What? That is stupid. That is so dumb. It literally just comes right back like what well obviously i'm just going to do that every time i can it causes unrest so i can take care of it that's crazy like oh my god oh oh look at this absolutism I gotta watch I don't hit my maximum. Okay, no, I'm only at 16. Still, though. Jesus. I don't think I've ever done that before. That is so cheesy and so deliciously good. Why has that not been patched? What? Ah, uh, EU4, the button clicking simulator. And no one cares about Rebel Risk. I got a billion of ways to stop it. Oh. That's awesome. What? That's so good. That's just so advantageous to me. Oh my god. Okay, how much did I get me? 39. That got me almost to my max. Which gives me 11% 
Oh my god, that's so good. 11% admin efficiency. I'm sure gives me 21 right now. Oh, that's awesome. That is, that is freaking amazing. Okay. Okay, so next up we do want to be jumping onto the Bahamas, but I think we should be pushing onto the Ottomans first. We really do need to be weakening them. So what we're going to do is we are going to send... Where's those? Oh no, I already sent those mercs. So let's... Okay, and we're going to mothball these. We're going to send 30k over there. And what tech? I imagine we're both 17. Yeah, we're both 17. Oh no, air. Interesting. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to send them on over. Anyone know where to get all the E4 deeper deep and seam? Uh, there are sales. There are typically there are very common sales. I th I find usually. And everything's kind of locked, but there we go. Great. And we're gonna kick some butt. I'm gonna take Dip Tech Seventeen. Keep things chill. Oh my god, I forgot to repair these guys. Get a couple ticks of repair. Do you have the PUs? I do indeed, Tomda. I have Castile, Milan, and Naples in PUs currently. I would very much like to get the Commonwealth as well, but it's likely not going to happen. We're not able to get those bonuses. I'm thinking I might just try and integrate uh, Milan first. Okay. Submission of the clergy. All power to the king. Unrest, but monthly autonomy change and stability. Um, nope. Boop, boop, boop. And we got a colony. Uh, ooh, I actually don't really want to be colonizing just yet, to be honest. To be honest, I don't really care about this. Uh, screw it. Alright, here. May I throw in a question regarding World Conquest? Pre-130 trade commissary extremely strong machine in the future you can pay they're not worth anymore. I don't really find them very worth it at all. I just think they're a complete drain because of the because of the um, governing capacity damage the damages. I'd find it just not particularly worth it anymore. But that I would say is a personal preference thing. I'm gonna send these transport ships now. Two over there. Uh, my colonist is arriving in a year. Alright. Do 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 do. Okay, West African Coast Famine. It's fine, don't care about that. Leave me alone. One more month tick. Try and get through this. End of the Pevens War, good for you. Alright, let's go back here. Ow, oh, Jesus Christ. What is with the amount of money I need to pay? Ow, I hate it. What the hell? How much corruption am I trying to root out here? Mike! No! Mike! He's dead! <laughs> Oh my god, I think I need to get a different freaking. Like, this is too much, man. Can okay, go back to Barry. Okay, I need to maybe reduce my advisors. Like, the plus three is just. It's just causing me problems, honestly. Although, I really do want the. Let me, let me see if I can get a cheaper. I don't really want the plus three. He's costing me too much money. Can we get a cheaper. Diplo rep guy. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Come up soon. Oh sorry. I thought that was the they I thought that was the event chain that gave them. Oh, it might be. Magnate Rebels. Commonwealth Magnate Rebels. Okay, their country's actually exploding right now. Oh uh, no, they're fighting. <sighs> Swedish War for Independence. Okay, we're gonna have to go now, because otherwise the Commonwealth won't join. I'm gonna have to promise them land. I'm gonna. That's okay. I can use that to break the alliances. To be honest. Hey, Scott Geld. Yeah, let's do that. And we're gonna make the goal, Sinestra. And away we go. Boop. Boop. Good. And yes, we need an advisor. We're going to wait the month tick. Oh, good, a coalition. Hooray. Uh, that. Okay. Can I have a new guy? Diplo rep. And he's Burgundian. Yes. Perfect. Much better. So a small coalition has now kind of got its things together, which is great. Not really. 
Um, so who am I else am I fighting? No one interesting. Best native policy. I, I say the one that gives you flat out um, settlers. I think it's the best one. There is no better one. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, Jesus. Get over there. Look at that. Their morale is nothing. 4.7 to my 5.83. Come to Papa. You do have a 6.2, however. And I've got no cannons. I have no cannons. <gasps> Why do I have no cannons, guys? There's no cannons here. Oh, I thought there were cannons. Luckily, we can kick some butt. Good, good. Ah, uh, rebels again. Why did I get rebels again? Uh oh. I I just had you. Crap. Crap. Uh That's not good. That is very bad. I need to get rid of these things. Oh, their influence is too high! Oh no! Their influence is too high. Yeah, I need more, I need more absolutism, but I don't- well, I can get more absolutism, but that's gonna kill me if I accept that. Ow. Oh dear. Okay, this might not have been a very good war then. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, the Commonwealth are here to help and save the day, but they're also being attacked by 8 trillion people. Mini Karu? Uh, no. Technology cost. Fantastic. So I'm getting a little bit of rebel risk is the problem. I'm going to pay that down. Oh, I just got rid of French peasants. I'm going to accept the demands of them. Go away. Which kind of ruins my country a little bit, but that's okay. And there's that to help me out. Now we're going to go kill them. Can we send these guys to help? Yes, we can. Excellent. Give it the war. It's going to be a good one. I know, Brummy. I know. It is indeed going to be an awesome one. We've got to just pay attention and be very, very careful because I'm hunting wabbits. The Papal State entered the coalition. Oh my god. Get in there. Okay, there we go. Um, let's get the mercenaries out of here, please. Good. That's a pretty decently sized coalition. It's just exploded in my face. Don't appreciate. Let's go down there. Oh man, 29%. Probably should have waited to see if I could have taken Milan in this war, actually, now that I think about it. Luckily, the Ottomans are primarily up in the north, which does help. The only thing is that the, uh, the Commonwealth very much do want some territory. Ah, I could, give it to, I could give it to that. I can give them that. That'll be good. That will be good. Uh, I have excess mill power. I'm going to pop it right here. Perfect. Might as well use some of that. Although, to be honest, I probably could have used it for other things, but here we are. We've got these guys here. So let's go this way. The thing here is we're doing okay. And we just killed the Valencian rebels. Luckily, England cannot join the coalition because they are currently at war. And also, there is still a truce for another year. But the moment they peace out, we are very much going to want to jump onto them. Actually, to be honest, I think the moment the truce is over, we're going to have to jump onto them. And then we also need to be jumping onto Behemoth once we are able as well. Uh, more rebels everywhere. Christ. This is part of the, one of the reasons why I was thinking maybe I should have gone something like influence I, as our humanist ideas. I mean, religious ideas are great. The thing is you get the tolerance of true faith with religious ideas, and that's just... Uh, Mwah. So good. So good. And you get that great CB. But to be honest, the religious CB goes a little bit once you get the Tech 24 of Diplo. Are there any particularly good policies here? 
Religious unity and missionary strength versus heretics. Culture conversion cost, global tariff. Ugh, pretty useless, to be honest. Whereas humanist ideas, you do just get, you know, you get a religious unity, but you also get tolerance of heretics. And you get improved relations and tolerance of heathens, which is super good. And dip reputation and dip relations. And I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind at one tap to try and go for a one faith, though. I do have some decent bonuses in there. Well, not really, because I already have the Bate Galate Fraternite, which already gives me heretics and heathens. So... Actually, I'm not sure now. I wonder if maybe it would be a better idea to still try and go for just as much humanity as po humanism as possible. You think to go for one faith. You would say that, wouldn't you, Drakey? You just want me to suffer. Oh, Cross Viking died. We've just reached down Constantinople. That is awesome. Now we want to go kill the Hungarians up there. Everyone together. Okay, so yes, there is a coalition that's kind of building up here, which isn't great. We're going to want to watch out for that. Foreign trade competition rises. Mercantilism, lovely. I mean, what we need to try and do is remove this. Which ain't great. It ain't great. Yeah, loyalty must be higher. Ugh. Because these things are really kind of hindering my absolutism, like free enterprise and stuff. Nice. This is just getting us tons of power and victory. Great. Good. Yeah, the Ottomans are already struggling. I think it's because their forces were all the way in the north, which is pretty cool. I think that I might want to try... Oh, my transport ships are trapped over there now. Oh, you dumb dumb, You absolute dumb dumb. And the Scots don't have any bloody ships, do they? Damn. All right, let's build a damn rebels segment over here. Put cannons. I know, I need a lot of cannons, mate. I need so many cannons. Okay, that is the truce with Mexico. Um, Scotland, England even. Luckily, they are still at war, but we need to declare war on them pretty much immediately. Clergy gain 10 influence. Uh, that's fine, I can still ruin them. So we kind of want to keep that watching very heavily because we cannot destroy them. We got to be careful. All right, get over there. Get over there and get over there. Good. Okay. Keep hurrying toward that. You're a madman. We basically need to declare war to England as soon as we can. For our lovely cores. Or rather, Scotland's lovely cores. And then we can start to annex them. Wanna be grand. Um, let's get a spy network up in here. Get rid of relation improvement over there. We do want to keep an eye on that because we do not want them joining the coalition. That would might, that might be the end of our game or anything, but it would be pretty unpleasant. It's probably going to be pretty soon. So we want to watch out for that. People don't want to be conscripted. Recruitment time. Fine. You get up there. Make a new general. And that has got to be the liquid hotshot for my last most recent sub. I'm going to call him liquid. 3-5. Actually, more fire would have been better, but still. <laughs> Free whales. Keep an eye on England. I should probably put them as like a... Oh god, I just thingied. I literally never put things in special interest anymore. I literally just never care. But I should see it immediately. You know what we do. With the me a free production bonus. Sweet. Get up there and then rotate back down. Did this union bring benefits? Nope, prestige. Didn't really need to do that, but here we are. You'll get the job done, you better. You'd better. Gonna have to declare pretty fast. Austria's been elected, duh. As will always happen, pretty much. Okay. Rike is just subscribed. Thank you very much for that sub, my friend. Really do appreciate that choice to subscribe to me. It's my 70th subscriber. That is awesome. 
Thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to me, buddy. Really appreciate that. And with that, we'll end the episode. All right, we're going to be besieging down the rest of Ottomans as soon as we can. I was Al Jung and Teach Me, and this has been some E4 playing some France. Thank you for the sub, GK, and see you next time. Bye bye.